Hello everybody and welcome to a quick video or well it's going to be an information and reaction video because today I'm going to be going over and I'm going to be reacting to this brand new The Isle of Rima update 3.5 video talking about juvenile pouncing and interactive water. This is a very big update because if you don't know already this was meant to be a bug fix update where they're bug fixing the final bugs for update 3 and then they added some new things as well and they have made a nice new trailer for it which I think is really cool so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna watch it and uh, I'm gonna talk you through after that what some of the new things and obviously you'll be getting my reaction anyways to this trailer and I'm excited because interactive water pouncing for babies or you know juveniles means that you'll be getting some new animations either way and it's exciting stuff I was expecting map updates but I know they would have had to put the map through QA testing first. So today we've got some normal stuff in terms of just some animations and inter interactive water. I do hope the interactive water looks good. That's what I'm praying for. Right, let's get into it. By the way, before I get into it, if you are new, feel free to like and subscribe and check out my video before. It's about a mutant dinosaur game. I'm sure you'll be interested in that. Let's watch this. Okay, Juvie Tonanto by the looks of it. Doing a heckin' walk. I have a feeling this is where we'll see the pouncing animation. It just happened right now. Yeah. So I believe that's a G. Yeah, it's a Juvie Tonanto. So we've got booking animations for the ta And you can also pounce on Juvie Carnos as well. Looks like the Utah can jump on everything. That's a nice new animation there for the uh, for the Dryo, the new booking animation. I don't think Dryo ever had an animation like that, so it's very nice to see this. Uh, I'll just slow it down for you to, you know, quickly. Well, I won't. I won't slow it down, but because mm, before Dryo could just only jump from side to side. Now you can pin down or book a, a Tyrannodon. Which, for Tyrannodon plays, this is not good. You're basically doomed. Pinning down Hipsies. Finally putting their reign to, uh, to an end. So this new update mainly focuses on what looks like Utah Raptor. Making it a little bit stronger. So maybe the tier list video that I've recorded is not going to be the best tier list video in the world anymore. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, this new interactive water looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the ripples. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, that is incredible. It looks so realistic now. Because before it was just so boring and just nothing happened, but now, Jesus Christ, that's going to kill computers. Wow. Is that it? The water looks like it's changed a little bit. That's it! Dandy, I don't feel so good. That's incredible. I really like the uh, new water interaction. But what looks like here is the water shader is changed a little bit underwater. There would have been no reason why they would have shown that. That is beautiful. Yeah, that is really nice. So that's it. That is the trailer. Now I'm going to really quickly go over it all uh, and recap it in a little bit after this video. So uh, let's just run into that really quickly. So of course we see some cool things and new things coming to the game. We see interactive uh, animations for the Utah Raptor and juvenile Utah Raptors. You can now pounce on GV dinosaurs like Tonontosaurus. You can pounce on, uh, or as a juvenile Utah, you can uh, pounce on Carnotaurus as well, the younger GV Carnos, which will be amazing to see what the baby Utahs can do. Now I'm wondering if there's gonna still be a threshold because I assume a brand new baby dinosaur will not be, you know, being as, you know, killing machine, pouncing machine as the adults are. So maybe like a 25% and up or 50% and up, who knows. Either way, you can now pounce on Dryosaurus. They get a brand new booking animation as well, which looks really beautiful. And we also get pinning animations and booking for Pteranodon, 
which looks very nice as well. And Hypsilophodon will get pinned down in this update. So their Reign of Terror will be at an end. And I'm pretty sure once they are pinned down, you'll be using Draining Stamina. Like when Dinosuchus drags something in the water, it drains your stamina. Of course, this new update is very interesting. It's going to add a whole bunch of new stuff. We also get some new water additions to the game. Which is very cool. New interactive water. As you can see when the Pteranodon does its fishing or skimming. It does ripples in the water. Now I believe this will be visible when you're under the water as a Dinosuchus. So you'll be able to see if something is skimming the water above you as well. And the ripples will be seen both ways. We also see ripples for Dinosuchus coming into the water. In and out of the water. Which is very nice as well. Now it kind of looked okay on some angles. It might have been the quality of the video. But... Towards the end, it kind of looked like it was just chucked in tie-dye, and the tie-dye was forming a trail around it. But that might be just because of the video itself, and the quality of the video, who knows. Either way, I love these new additions. Let me know what your thoughts are about these brand new The Isle of Rima additions in the comments down below. But yeah, this was a quick reaction video and an overview to this brand new The Isle of Rima update video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know your opinions. And if you do want to check out my previous video, I recommend it. It's some updates about a brand new mutant dinosaur game, which I'm sure because you guys love mutant dinosaurs, you'll love this game. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all. In the next one, have a great day. Peace.